Watch you guys got another video Microsoft force full screen ads on their users on Windows 11. Now Microsoft are no stranger to using these particular types of nag screens or adverts to try to upgrade your payment method or buy their products and you can see your Microsoft 365 subscription is past due. This is going to be a new nag screen that is going to be popping up if you use Microsoft 365 or Office to us normal folk. Now these adverts are designed for one thing, that is to get you to part with your hard earned cash and to pay for Microsoft products. In this case, it's Microsoft 365. But it's not the only time they've used nag screens like this. You can see, now unlock your eligible for free upgrade to Windows 11. And if you couldn't upgrade to Windows 11, it was then diverting you to how to buy a brand new computer from Microsoft. And this is basically what they're trying to do with these particular nag screens. Now, Microsoft call this the second chance out of box experience rather than the OOBE, which we know as out of box experience. So this is what they're using and they call it SCOOBE for short. Now, these can be quite intrusive, but a lot of people might find these very useful to be a reminder to upgrade or update their payment method. Now, some of this might be useful to some users because it's a reminder that your subscription is starting to run out and your payment method may have changed. So you might need to update that payment method. But I find them quite intrusive. And what you can do is turn these off. But Microsoft like to bury some of this information. But if you look in system notification and additional notifications, you can turn some of these off and it will stop these coming up onto the screen. So we've had these particular types of NAG screens for OneDrive as well to either purchase OneDrive or renew your OneDrive subscription. And this is to get you to pay for the premium version of OneDrive, which obviously costs money. And there's also many other NAG screens that Microsoft like to use where it fills the whole screen and it's just interrupting what you're doing at that present time. And they could just pop up at random. And this seems to be the avenue that Microsoft are going down where they're just pestering or badgering their user base to try and purchase things or to try to uh, renew subscription for something that might be running out that belongs to Microsoft. And, you know, this is nothing new. This has been going on for many, many years, but it's just seemed to have got a lot worse with Windows 11. And some people will call this bloat. And this is what causes a lot of issues with Windows 11. And now Copilot's come along. We even have them for Copilot as well. Now, Microsoft don't make it super easy to find the opt out button for these particular types of NAG screens. Whereas I do believe that Microsoft could easily make this clear to say opt out and it could be opting out for a bunch of stuff that you simply don't need or simply offer a version of Windows, a lighter version of Windows, which you can use a little bit like LTSE or IoT, where people can use that version where they don't get all of this filler that people don't want and they have to basically go in and turn it off or uninstall it and remove it from the computer. Now, we all know that LTSE and IoT LTSE versions are not for home use. They are basically for businesses. And I think Microsoft have missed the trick here. They could release a version of Windows, which is a light version of Windows that doesn't have all the Copilot recall and all that stuff embedded in there. And it will just be a light version of Windows that doesn't get updated on a regular basis with feature updates. And I think a lot of people will easily upgrade to that version of Windows 11. And this would mean you won't need a lot of scripts and a lot of applications and batch files to remove a lot of bloat because it would already be a light version of Windows. And of course, in that light version of Windows, you could make it where you can use a local account and you don't have to sign into a Microsoft account. And I think a lot of people will be a lot more happier with that version of Windows and maybe remove the hardware requirements for that version of Windows as well to give people an option to be able to upgrade to it uh, but it will have some restrictions on it, uh, like you won't be able to sign into a Microsoft account and you won't be doing certain things on that particular build. And that way, it will make everyone happy and they will be able to use their older computers on these versions of Windows. 
Surely someone in their head office has seen some of the videos and know what the user wants. So why don't they just give it to the user? It's that simple. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.